if you're just like me and you're more like a photographer than a colorist and you find color grading very difficult, then I've got a really cool thing for you because I'm also more of a photographer than a colorist. Everything I've learned, I've learned by doing it and knowing how to do it. So I'm gonna take you in my computer and show you a very simple hack using the calibration tool without touching any of the other tools in Lightroom to make your photos instantly look way, way, way better. Let's dive in my computer so I can show you what the trick is. So right now we're in my computer and I've got a couple of photos and these are the original raw files, nothing done with it than just my files. As you can see, my photos are quite dark. I shoot underexposed. I always do that because I want to um, retain the lights in the back so I, and I want to pull up the lights in front. That's the way I work. I use a lot of filters in front of my lenses when shooting. I like that dark vibe. I like to use high ISO uh, like this photo is uh, ISO 3200. That's just the way I work. But that's what another photo is about. It's about making the photo look great. So because I shoot dark I have to make the photo a little bit more bright like this. So, and we're not gonna touch all the other, uh, so we're not gonna use the color grading, the color mixer, the tone curves, nothing. The only thing I did, I pop up the, the exposure and maybe the, the, the contrasts a little bit, but that's what I do. Not even the white balance because I used other white balance and it's okay, we can adjust that later. So, the calibration tool normally is on the bottom of your tools and you work from the bottom to the top. So you use your basics, then your tone curves, then your color mixer, color grading, and so forth but i moved it up because i use a calibration tool a lot maybe i'm doing it wrong but that's the way i've learned it myself because i found out that the calibration tool is a really good cool tool where you can do a lot of stuff with to make your photo instantly look way better and this this works on almost every kind of photo even nature photos so what i do i'll always crank this one up to 100 this one a little bit down let's say like this, this one up. This is. If you do this on every photo like I do it, it works. It works all the time. It just it, uh, the, the calibration tool works more on, on, on a pixel level. And that's why it has a, so much a different uh, outcome on your photo than using the other tools. This. So. You can see instantly there's a lot of been changed. If I uh, see the original photo and this, there's a lot. Photo pops way more. Yeah, I should rotate the photo a little bit. We can do that. Just make it look better. Okay, so it's, well, it's, it's a little bit too far. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, I have a loop deck so I can do all the things uh, with the hardware without using the buttons here. As in the, uh, if you want to know what a loop deck is or you want to buy one, just go in the description below. It's a really cool thing. Uh, my editing is going, since I've got a loop tag, it's went up like 60% faster than before. I've using this for years. So we can use this one to make the vibe go. And we can change it. We can go purple vibe to a more greenish color vibe. You can change it up in the way you like it. As you can see. So I can now can change the, the white balance. Say 60, I think around 60. So a little bit down. Sorry, up. So you pull the blue away. You see the difference. So the only thing we really did was the, the calibration. The calibration is the biggest difference in here. A little white balance. You can also use the white balance by just hitting the, the white balance picker on the dress like this. I do it manually because I think it's better. Same thing, use this photo. And we're gonna use the same settings actually, but we could just copy this. Put on this photo. Only thing we have to change is the white balance. We could use the picker. We can, we can adjust it if you like. The vibe here. And we're done. That's it. That's how fast you can color grade a photo looking really cool. I can do a lot more with a photo. It's too bright actually. It's too much. Um, but that's how it works. So this photo again, throw up the exposure because it's still really dark. Minus 49. And now we're working from the, from the top because I know the numbers. I've filled it in a lot of times. Uh, minus 63. It's 100. So 
color is too green, so I have to pull a little bit back. I already see the difference. A little bit of contrast, because it looks better. I could change the white balance to make it more colder, warmer, but it's already fine. It's as easy as this. Same photo, say a different photo. Again, under it. Crap. <laughs> I'm not used to working with a mouse. So cool, it's already changing. Uh, minus 63, and it's just the same settings. You can play around with the settings, of course, because some photos have a uh, are different. Um, but the most photos, it it just works. That's one, and then I can change this around the vibe, the photo, the more warmer vibe, cold vibe. I like the cold vibe actually. A lot of people still doing the warm vibe. Got to throw up my. Again here I can chase it up a little bit and it's such a big difference. Look at the original, this one. Even the grass has been a little bit less green. I like the less greener grass than a very bright grass. This photo, original one, this one, this photo, original one, this one. So you can play around making it even better. Green can pop a little bit more in this photo so you can chase that around by... See if you just use this you can change the green even this looks really really cool and as you can see the skin tones that's a calibration tool it's, it works perfectly if you want to see more of my tips tricks behind the scenes stuff or even my free workshops on my youtube be sure to check it out on my channel and also my instagram I do a lot of instagram work uh, share a lot of photos because i'm a photographer just so i like still the thing I like the most is making photos and videos actually. Check out my Instagram. If you have any questions on how this works, just ask me in the comments. I will surely help you with making the best color grading ever. See you next time.